Alright guys, right, awesome. moment of truth. Here's the uh, super safe SPS 190F uh, battery bank. Four that I bought for $200. Um, you can see the pile of batteries that it's charged just today. Um, we finally got through most of the capacity. We're 10.8 with 17 amps load on it. That's just this charger punching the power into there. So this is going to be the last uh, battery recharge that it gets. Um, we won't go any further. I don't want to dip it any deeper. So I thought something had gone wrong with the meter. The meter's actually done a lap. The watt hour part of it only goes to 6,500 and some change, like 20. And we're back up to where is it? 322. So it's the best part of 7 kilowatt hours. 7 kilowatt hours for 200 bucks. Um, might as well just turn the inverter off at this stage actually. That'll start recovering. But yeah, 7 whole kilowatt hours out of a $200 battery bank. That is just magic. So we're, we're going to charge it back up with the antimatter and the uh, lab power supply. I'm going to link both of these in the video description because these are, these are the things I use. I'll link some of these, these, because uh, you know the deal. If you go and buy things through the affiliate links, it means I can spend more money taking risks on batteries like this. Um, so let's recharge it. I massively upgraded our leads there. American Y gauge 12 up there and 10 on the leads. These are actually off a jump starter. So I might spread the leads out a smidge like that. It's not going to make a big difference. The reason I say you should buy these kinds of things is I had people asking me questions like, hey will that run at full load for any period of time. Yeah, definitely. Um, absolutely no issues running at full load for hours and hours and hours on end. Um, that lives on the diesel heater battery normally. So probably just for safety reasons, take them off. Um, it lives on there, so yeah, it runs for. I don't. I don't turn it off. This is the second one, I left the first one in the rain. Yeah, there's a video about that, but um, that's my own stupid fault. So, now the downfall. I had a 20 hour charge, 20 amp hour charge. If these are completely depleted and they're really good, they're nearly 200 amp hours each. 10, 20, 30, 40 hours. <laughs> So it's going to be an over 40 hour charge, so it's going to be a couple of days before I make another video about them. Let's, uh, let's see if this uh, power supply's got it. It does, look. 9.7 amps. Eleven. That's got it. That is a good power supply. And it's um, temperature control fan inside it as well, remember? There you go. So now the mission is push all that energy back inside. Which is unfortunate because it means I've got to pay to charge it back up, but it is off peak rate at the moment, so. Technically, I'm paying half as much as normal. Look at that, 0 .3 of an amp already. It's only going to take 40 hours to charge. 11.15 down on the inverter. So, yeah, that is... They were a fairly sure bet. Like, I'm not going to lie. I bought them knowing fairly well that they'd be alright. Um, there wasn't much guesswork in it. Uh, when I put the voltmeter on them, I knew they'd be good. I knew that they'd come out of a backup situation. They weren't um, they weren't cycled as such. This is probably the biggest cycle they've ever had in their life. 
Nothing any better. So. See, this thing's only at 29 degrees. Pour 9.1 amps at 25 volts. Accurate enough. And it will stop at 14.4, hopefully. It's got to get up there. But, um, this has been a really good test. I've charged a lot of batteries um, and discovered that, um, yeah, 7 kilowatt hours. If we pushed, we could probably get 7.5. And, um, and with maths, we were only talking about 8. If you roughly, you know, just did the did the sums kind of thing. Oh, what happened there? That was odd. I don't know if you've seen that, but the voltage of this thing just kept diving. I don't know why it changed, it was going for a whole amp hour. Alright, let's make sure that doesn't happen again. We'll just back it off to 18 amps. It's going to take a bit longer, but it just means that it's not going to fail halfway through while I'm asleep or something. That's a bit better. 8.6 amps. 8.7 amps. No, maybe the cooling fan was just enough to tip it over the edge when the cooling fan revved up. But yeah, there you go guys. If you see these super safe batteries and you know they've come out of a yeah, backup standby UPS style operation, now nah, my advice is jump on them. Uh, I've just bought 7 kilowatt hours, even if I only get, if say, if say I'm being nice and stop at 12.0, I'm still going to get 4.5 kilowatt hours out of these. That's significant, that's really significant. So we'll make another video when we've got a total amp hours. Uh, in the meantime I need to uh, find a bigger meter that can handle more ins and outs. I might go a Victron one so I can monitor it. I'm thinking I might go a Victron charge controller so I can just Bluetooth it all and make it log and all that kind of stuff. We're going to be a bit more serious with our off grid setup now. So, it's 4 kilowatts in the other shed. There's another 7 here. Um, kilowatt hours. We're talking about a relatively good storage and uh, yeah, there's a few big things that I want to run. So, we'll get these into 24 volt configuration and uh, stack them up with some bus bars between them or maybe even crimp a heap of cable lugs and um, get the other batteries in here get the 24 volt system put together and pull out of that other workshop I'm actually thinking outside this wall uh, build a battery box for the gel cells the remaining ones that still work and make a 12 volt system out of them as well and just uh, piggyback the 12 volt system off the 24 just to keep them topped off for bits and pieces but uh, yeah it's kept all my power tool batteries charged which has enabled me to go and make money um, I've charged the 12 amps like oh, six or eight times I suppose used the whippersnipper used the SDS hammer drill it's all charged them so we only need uh, a couple of kilowatts of solar on these and I'll be able to do this exact thing every couple of days in summer so uh, good test, very happy with it. We'll get it charged up and let you know what they took to charge back up and uh, keep you updated. Thought you guys might enjoy the video. Uh, I'll link some bits and pieces in the description. Thanks for watching, thanks for buying, thanks for subscribing. Catch us on the next one.